And also launching on October 26th is Beast of Jevoudan. And this plays two to six players and takes about 45 to 90 minutes to play. And this one is actually launching on game on tabletop. It's not going to Kickstarter or GameFound. And this is more of a soft launch print and play to gauge the interest. And if this gets enough attention, the designer will want to turn it into a physical game. And in this game, players are taking on the role of different hunters competing to become the most famous and influential. And at the end of the game, the player with the most influence tokens is going to win the game. The catch here is that influence tokens can be earned, lost, but also spent because they double as your current Currency. And every game is going to have a randomly generated beast that is terrorizing the town and players are going to be trying to defeat. But at the same time, nobody really knows the true nature of the beast, but there are rumors. And the official record is going to represent the current popular expectation of that beast. Each player is going to be representing either nobility, the church, the locals, or the press. And each one of those is going to have their own loyalties and agenda of what they want the official record to represent. So if you're nobility, you're going to gain more influence if the people believe that the beast is an exotic foreign creature. But if you are representing the church, you're going to gain more influence if the people believe that the beast is a supernatural being sent from God. But if you're representing the locals, you're going to gain more points if people believe that the beast is a natural entity like a dog or a wolf. And then finally, if you are representing the press, you're going to gain more influence if people believe that the beast is a hoax. And the true nature of the beast is going to be determined by shuffling some different beast ID cards and then randomly inserting four of them into four different envelopes. These will remain in secret until the end of the game. And the game plays over seven rounds and each round has five phases. The first phase is the bid phase where players bid for play order. And then during the second phase, players can put their characters out on different action spaces out on the map depending on player order. Each location grants some different unique bonuses that players are going to be competing for. During the next phase, players can draw encounter cards, and these allow players to manipulate the official record of the beast to their favor, but they can also cause some other effects throughout the game to help you along the way. Players that find themselves in the more dangerous locations can embark in a hunt, and there's a different threat each round that players can hunt, and doing so will allow players to bolster their hunting party and gain some new weapons to help them later on in the game. And then during the fifth phase, players will gain influence based on how they perform during that round, and players will also be allowed to trade items with each other. During the final round, the hunt phase is replaced with a final confrontation with the main beast, and the true nature of that beast will be revealed. This will be a tougher battle and players will want to be prepared for it because certain abilities and weapons will be more effective against certain types of beasts. Certain abilities and actions throughout the game would have allowed players to peek at the different envelopes, divulging a little bit of information to them so that they can be more prepared. At this point, players can choose to either fight against the beast or attempt to flee to safety. The player with the most influence, once all this is said and done, wins the game.